Hey guys, Brandon here with Wisconsin Bourbon Bros. It's Saturday, it's another great day to buy some bourbon. We're here at Westbrook Liquor in New Berlin, Wisconsin. We got Zach on the stick, and I am so excited for this one. Zach doesn't know this yet, and uh, maybe reference our last video when we talked about Ben Holiday, Rick House Proof Soft Red Wheat. We got a single barrel, we got the one barrel waiting inside there. And, uh, and I'm so pumped. They just got it last night. I hope they've got some left. Let's head in. Check this out. <laughs> Here we go. That's what we came for. Beautiful holiday. So if you look back to our very first hunting video, I talked about coming out and finding a one barrel of Ben Holiday. And I found out about six months ago they were gonna get this in. And uh, I am so pumped that this finally landed. Gosh, look at the darkness on this bottle. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm going to take it. That's ours now. Thank <laughs> you. All right. They've also got an awesome selection here. So let's spend some time going down the aisle here and uh, just check out some of the stuff going on. Okay. Come on here. Obviously scotches, Irish, love it, love it. But then check this stuff out here. Lock, stock and barrel. Hey, we just got some of the Southern Star here. So that's a North Carolina bourbon. We just got a bottle of this from Vino. Mm -hmm. We'll have to check it out. Haven't, haven't cracked it yet. All right, Zach, come on. Hold yourself together here. Hold yourself <laughs> together here. <laughs> Holy cow, we got the Double Oak Peerless, one of my favorites. One of my favorite distilleries as of late, craft-wise. So um, I always think these are good picks and always worth the money. Ten-year weeded, huh? Now that we're on that old elk trying just keep seeing all the, yeah. all the impressive old elk. All right, check this out. We got a bunch of stone oak here. We uh, we have to come back to stone oak, right? We have to give them their fair shake here. They're a Wisconsin brand. They're Milwaukee totally. local distillery. Totally. We haven't given them their just deal. We got to get to it. Got some more stone oak and some Jay Henry over here. More full proof hitting the shelves here. Some full proof. Right next to some Granddad and next. Granddad Bonded. Have you ever had the Bonded? I haven't had the Bonded yet. It's very good. It's right very next good. to the 114 as well. Um, beautiful. Love to see that full proof Green River. Got some sales going on here. Hey, you know what's funny? I just saw Bruzel the other day pick up a Jack Daniels, not Jack Daniels, a Jim Beam single barrel. Nice. I don't want to say we were the first to put on Jim Beam single barrel, but <laughs> Maybe. Look at that price on the toasted rye, dude. Yeah, toasted, that's actually a steal, man. That kind of is a steal. I almost want to buy that. I kind of do want to buy that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll come back to that. We've been eyeing that one up. We'll come back to that. I think Penelope might have the best bottle presence. Something about their bottle, they just got it right, that like my eye always leans towards the Penelope shelf. Yeah, they got a pretty bottle. Another store pick here. Another store pick, a little Jefferson Reserve. Nothing confusing about that label at all. <laughs> we love Jefferson Reserve. I wish Reserve. it was always that way. I'll let you hop in here. They got the some of the limiteds here, some of the some of the more limiteds on the back shelf here as well. See anything interesting down there? No, uh, we're getting some Bardstown down here, which I would love to dabble in. We got Dexter's down here. Ah, it's like the 11th uh, best bourbon in the world, right? Yes, we're making that appearance again here. <laughs> All right, we got some more back here. Check it out, very old St. Nick at the top there. That Maelstrom is a uh, highly sought after bad boy. All right, I have to address it, Zach, I have to address it. We understand Rebel 100 is not the best alternative to 107. But this probably is. For all those folks out there who like to say. Yeah, Rebel 10 would be a great pick. We had somebody in the comments finally say, you know, one of their favorites is the small batch Ingram River Age. It'll catch on. Give us six months. We're going to be able to get behind the counter here to see some special bottles that they got. Ooh, look at that. Gemma, Kentucky there. Up in Wisconsin, you don't see these very often. So, so we got a WB staff over here, one of our one of our favorite go-tos on the channel. So I've never seen that chicken cock, the island rooster there. What's going on there? I've actually seen this on a video. I don't know if we've seen it in our videos though. I've seen plenty of chicken cock. I've never seen that one. The island rooster, huh? Hey, who, who knows anything about that, this uh, this chicken cock here? What's the tag on that? 199.99, wow. Yeah, what do we got here? An old elk infinity blend. 
I've never seen that. Brandon keeps talking about these hand barrels and how we have to purchase one of these at some time. Yeah. <laughs> you got your uh, master's collection down here, the Woodford Reserve. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's how you start a video, dude. That's how you start a video. <laughs> Today we made it over to Ara's in Racine. Uh, Wisconsin and uh, we're looking forward to a raffle today. We're gonna go in check the place out uh, See what they got for stuff in their aisles. Maybe some store picks uh, Maybe something good on the shelf and uh, and then we're gonna be here for the raffle. So let's go ahead in So yeah, Trevor with uh, Central Standard uh, doing a sampling here at the store today. I'm uh, gonna make the bourbon Bourbon raffle. We got our new canned cocktails in a collaboration with Line and Kugels uh, with our spirits out of Milwaukee and they're great flavors uh, from Chippewa Falls. So we have our brandy old fashioned, bourbon old fashioned, and our Door County Cherry Vodka. Perfect. I think I am gonna have to go with the brandy old fashioned. That's a classic Wisconsin yep. State cocktail. <laughs> Got to. Eight percent alcohol, made with our North Wisconsin brandy. Perfect. Uh, real Angostura bitters. Uh, doesn't get much more Wisconsin than that. All right. I mm. can uh, I can do the same. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna delicious. have to try your bourbon old fashioned. Perfect. Yeah. Bourbon Bros, bourbon old fashioned. This is really good, actually. There you go, cheers. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Absolutely. Cheers it up. <laughs> Perfect. Right on. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks, Trevor. Cheers, guys. Yep. Let's take a look at some of the shelf stuff here. Yeah, let's do that. We got full proof, we got some store picks, we got a Knob Creek single barrel here. Um, that's an, always a good pick to go with. Oh, look at this. Yeah, what do we got? Oh, right you, on the shelf here. You, you rarely see the dragon's milk <laughs> just sitting right on the shelf. Yeah, you got That's a small awesome. batch, dragon's milk, origins. Oh my gosh, just hitters everywhere, man. Look at this. Old Forester single barrel here. Looks like a store pick. Oh, that's spicy. Look at that. 63. Oh my gosh. 126 proof that's there. A, that's a hot one. Right around the corner here. We got all kinds of stuff going on. Yeah, we got to get down the aisle to see it just <laughs> hitter after hitter here. We got a McKenna 10 year here. Um, got a couple boxes of McKenna 10 sitting on the floor here. Yep. Obviously, this is not as rare as it once was, but generally not something you just see sitting around. Usually, they at least keep it behind the counter. Got your toasted Elijah Craig over here. Hey, what do we got here? This is all those store picks here. Oh, these are all the store picks. Can't walk past those. I'd be curious to try this Driftless Glen. Some Spayburn. Yep. Feature a couple of Wisconsin ones. You got Driftless Glen here, you got Dancing Goat. What do we got down Sorry, here? Sorry, my camera angle got a little off there. We got a cognac finish for the... I almost thought that was a cigar blend for a second there. No. <laughs> Let the bourbon aisle begin. I do find it fascinating that O.H. Ingram went with the red label yeah. to describe their rise. You know, everybody's going traditional green label. Yep. And they're like, no, no, we're gonna buck that trend. We're going red. Right. Stands right. out. Yep, definitely. There's a couple other companies that do something like that. Well, Penelope Toast down yeah. here. Penelope Toast. Have you tried the rose cast? I haven't, but I know that you're saying that uh, Vino had this once and uh, it was really good, so. It was good, it was really good. All right, we got some more Starlight over here. We got a double oaked, which would be really interesting to try. Um, Starlight's kind of caught my attention after the cigar blend. Well, every red line you could ask for here, wow. You know, the trouble with some of these craft distillers that I find is I don't know the difference. I look at their label, I have no clue what's going on. No, and I feel like they kind of have the same kind of thing going on as um, Bardstown. Bardstown, same type of label, they, but they have different collections. They all look kind of look the same. Or like uh, like Barrel Bourbon, for example, right? There's, uh, yep. here we go, Barrel Bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> same bottle, same logo, same look. Yep. It's really hard to distinguish what's going on. Yep. They have the seven year, seven year bottle and bond. That's good. No rookies around here. So you're talking about the uh, the red label down there for the rye for the Ingram. This is their rye for Chattanooga. And they do it in purple. So, you know, some of these craft distilleries trying to be different. Yeah, just stand out a little bit, right? You yep. kind of have to when you got the big boys you're going head to head with. Exactly. We got our Russells here. We love Russells. Um, obviously, Brandon talked about in our last hunting video. You know, we got to go for that Russells rye one of these days, a single barrel. Single barrel, yep. 
Flipping it up here, we got the single barrel barrel proof. Old Forester 1920, we always like to point out the price for that. What do we got here? 60 bucks. That's, That's actually price. not too bad. That's a fair price. Not too bad. I've seen that on some uh, some lists of must buys. Oh, another thing that I saw on must have on your shelf at all times, kind of a classic bourbon is uh, Four Roses Small Batch Select. Uh, it's something that you might see on a lot of people's shelves, right? Yeah, I think, uh, not to recite Bruzel too much, I think he called it his beach bourbon. Ah. Yeah, a lot of go-tos for, for people. This was featured in uh, one of our shorts, a single barrel uh, Jim Beam. Um, hey, what do you think about that single barrel Jim Beam, Zach? Honestly, a good alternative to Blanton's. There we go. <laughs> hey. hey, we stand by that. Good alternative <laughs> to Blanton's here. I mean, that's pretty much the whole, the that's whole, the whole aisle. bourbon aisle there. All right, Zach, we met a new friend here yeah. at the bourbon raffle. Hey! Um, so Leah yeah. has been to these raffles before. Um, and, times. and you're looking forward to some bottles today, right? Yep. Which are? Uh, so probably the Old Forester 1924. Great pick. Yeah. Uh, maybe the Russell 13. Yeah. Russell's 13, that's something we're looking for. You guys recommended the Jack Daniels. Right, yep. right. Absolutely. Um, so you win, you win raffles all the time, right? Yes. What's the best bottle you've gotten from a probably raffle? Probably the Pappy 12, 12 year, I think Yeah, I right on. Um, yeah. And was that from, from here? That was from the Oak Creek um, store. Okay, yep. Um, they do the yearly big raffle at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, you have to win like three spots in order to move up brackets yep. to get yep. it and actually won all like I won three different bottles. That's crazy. So and you typically do this with your husband who is not yep. here currently. Correct. Yep. Is it Australia you said? He's in Africa. Yeah. Africa. Yep. Africa. Overseas. Super cool. Perfect. You got a pretty cool yeah, lounge, right? Yeah, show us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Alright, check this out go. guys. Check this out. Now that that's a proper whiskey lounge. Holy cow. That's in your house? Yep. All right, we might have to we might have to move our set. Too. <laughs> I were a little jealous of the set. Does it, does it have a Does it have a name? We call it like the Cave. Yeah, or... I don't know. It's the Jarstead Bourbon Lounge. <laughs> love it, love it. Hey, great, great to meet you. Thanks. Appreciate you it. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Sorry. Come on in. <laughs> hey, you should come in here and you can see the bottles up close. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll hand it over to you. This time I'm not going to give you long speech. I'm just going to on the way, please. Mike. Thanks, man. Erlach. Yep. Nice. Whoa. Oh. Let's go, Mike. Uh, you get the pick. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Uh, Mike gets to pick the next person. I know. Sorry. A lot of names in there. Jason, Jason Johnson. Johnson. Woo! Here we go, Jason. Last four. Okay. Uh, so Sorry. Security and TI. <laughs> What's your mom's name? Yeah, right. What's your Alright, Jason's picking Jack 10. He's going for the stag. Ooh. Magnus over there. Would you pick? Jack twice barreled. Jack twice barreled. Wow. That was going to be our first pick, yeah. All right, Brandon got pulled from the bucket, and he's giving the camera the fingers. He said, I'm looking to make a pick. He's going to come get a round of applause, and then look at his choices here. He ends up picking the 1792 Sweet Wheat to complete our collection. Boom. Guns to the camera again, and then he picks a name out of the bucket. And coincidentally, it is me he picks, which is awesome. That is pretty crazy. I look at my choices, and what I'm getting here is J. Henry Anniversary 2023. A beautiful bottle. And uh, yeah, pretty excited about that. I get to go ahead and pick a name. Round of applause. Here we go. Oh, I have a Henry McKenna case of it. Uh, we have some other known winners here. Uh, we can try with that. And uh, whoever wants to have Henry McKenna, uh, bond and bond, they can buy it. Okay? So that way, at least somebody going with something. You know? Yeah, go ahead. Who got that twice barrel? You can go first there. And a boy. That's how, you, she not that's how you know you got a couple blends. How does she not have blends? 
Thank you. Cigar blend. Have you tried it? Good choice. Not yet. No. Yeah, third good. Okay. Can we put that on, on <laughs> camera? There's not many of those left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wisconsin Bourbon Bros. Yeah, great. You guys doing podcast? Thank you. Yeah. Brandon. Enjoy. Yep. Apple, what would they have to do to participate in the next one? So, how we do in each and every store is you buy any bourbon, yep. a rye. Uh, you can get a one raffle ticket. If you buy a store ticket, you get a two raffle ticket. Um, and we have a lot of uh, all customers who buy a lot of our store picks. Yeah. Go for us. Last year, we had more than what? 58 barrels. Oh, wow. Uh, this year, and we have a lot of limited barrels. Uh, even this year, we just we got day before yesterday, we received a uh, Jack Daniel's single barrel. I know, I know. We gone. Like, you know, yeah. Day and a half. Uh, we I was have, talking to him about that when we were coming yes, in. I was like, we'll pick one up. I have a bottle. If you're going to open and try, I'm going I'm, I'm to personally like to share and try. Yeah. Uh, we have another one, um, Green River single barrel barrel proof coming up. Okay. Uh, I do have it. Yeah. I unfortunately we have a release party tomorrow. We have a lot of people gonna be there. Sure, sure. So and we releasing at that time, so we're gonna start selling here at that store at the same time. Okay, right it's on. Gonna be, it's a phenomenal pick, 131 proof. Top. Everybody should try it. And yeah. I know it's gonna it's the that battle gonna be gone yeah. that evening or maybe next day. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And how many times a year are you guys doing like raffles, things of that nature? Uh mostly we do we try to do every month or a month and a half. Okay. Each and a half uh, like this store and then Oak Creek and other multiple stores we yep. have around uh, 12 locations. Awesome. So awesome. We do like you know. So what? One question. What is your favorite bottle of bourbon? That's a very difficult question, you know. And, uh, <laughs> your, the thing is, it depends what you eat, what you drink. You what, know, you what's your go-to right now? How about uh, that? I'm a hyper guy, right? Yeah, yeah. So I do enjoy um, uh, George Tech. Uh, yeah, I do enjoy yep. the little Eagle 17. Yep. I, I know uh, all these names, people say, yeah. like, oh yeah, we can get our hands on that kind of bottles. But yeah. not even that, even if I want to go for a regular bottle, which like I'm not a big rye guy, but yep. I'm checking a single bottle of rye. Delicious. It's phenomenal. I like yes. foolproof, a little bit of hug, and yep. uh, the flavor profile. Awesome. I just don't like, uh, I'm drinking, I don't get anything yeah. out of it. You want some character in there. Yeah, I want that character. That's over the time you build that, right? Yep. You know, initially, you just like, you know, you okay, you want something smooth. Yep. But over the period of time, you want, you're looking for some more profiling. You know? More robust. Awesome. More robust. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. Hey, this was a pleasure. Yeah. Very pleasure meeting you. Yeah. Yes. Thanks for letting us yeah. film. Likewise, Appreciate you know, it. Really enjoy it. <laughs> I got it on film. Don't worry. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, step on, it's a good idea. <laughs> All right, let's get it. We are finished with the raffle. These guys are awesome. We met a lot of cool people in there. Uh, we got a little Jay Henry. Let's get a little close up of this bad boy. Anniversary edition. Anniversary edition. And we have the Sweet Wheat 1792 to complete our collection of the 1792. Love this. Um, here, Ara's liquor and cigar. Let's go. We're out. See you on the next one.